We're going to look at two major portions of the small intestine. The first one we're looking at is the duodenum. And we can see our first layer, or our mucosa. And this is going to, again going to be characterized by villi, which is going to be comprised of simple columnar epithelium. There's our nice finger-like projections within the mucosa. We're going to zoom on in so we can see that simple columnar epithelium. And again, as we're at the highest magnification, you can see some nice goblet cells. You can see the microvilli or brush border. The pointer is going to move to within that villus or villi, and we're going to see our lacteal. And again, the function of the lacteal is going to be to absorb dietary fat. And again, remember, this is part of our lymphatic system. The next layer we're going to point to, we're going to move on down right here, is going to be in our submucosa. These are Brunner's glands. Now, these are specific to the duodenum. They're also called duodenal glands. They're going to secrete an alkaline-rich secretion. Again, it's going to contain bicarbonate. Its purpose is to protect the duodenum from the acidic content of the chyme. It's also going to provide an alkaline condition for the intestinal enzymes to be active. And it also serves a third purpose to lubricate the intestinal wall. We're going to move on over to the second part of the small intestine, the ileum. Again, this is the third portion. In between the duodenum and the ileum is the jejunum, which has neither Brunner's glands nor Peyer's patches. So what we're pointing to right here is Peyer's patch. It is a mucoso-associated lymphatic structure. Its job is going to be to surveil uh, the intestinal lumen, and, and it's going to help facilitate the generation of immune response within the mucosa. We're zooming on in to the epithelium or the mucosa, and you can see inundated with goblet cells here. And it's going to help lubricate that intestinal wall, that lumen, help facilitate the movement of this product through the intestine. We see our finger-like projections, again, indicative of the small intestine. And again, our beautiful Peyer's patches. I'll zoom on out so we can see the layers with the muscularis below it.